Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm actually just going to pop on real quick um, to share a little lunchtime thrift store haul that I just did. Um, and it, when, I, when I mean I was on lunch, you know, I only had a certain amount of time. And I, I went through rather quickly just to see what they had because I hadn't been in a while. So I actually only got a couple things, but... I always like to share what I get because sometimes I find cool things. So even though it's not a huge haul, it's just a little haul. So I want to start with these threads. And these are, um, I don't know if they're vintage or not. Here's the types of thread they are. They're not open because they still have the plastic on them. And I saw there was a 50 cents on it, so I figured I'd grab two because there were some more colors. But I got the two that um, I think I would use the most. And then when I got it to the register, she looked, she's like, eh, you can have them both for 50 cents. So knowing that, I should have gone back and gotten more, but that's okay. I can save that for another day. So I got those two. Then I found something really cool. It is this, um, sorry for the glare there. Um, it's called Enchanted Forest, and it's postcards. There's 20 postcards in here, and it doesn't look like any of them have been ripped out but they're the postcards that you can color yourself so what I thought was I obviously I'm not going to color them but I'll stick them in the journals and then whoever receives the journal if they decide they want to color them they can absolutely color them look at that there's a squirrel and on the back you can actually mail it so that's pretty cool too put the stamp there the two there from obviously there but I was just i I love this one. It has the mushroom, and it's like a little boat. Um, I flipped through quickly, and I just liked the few that I did see. So I ended up getting the whole thing, and I'm glad I did because she only charged me 50 cents for this book as well. So that was pretty cool. And I mean, so these pictures are gorgeous. I, this one is my favorite. Look at that. Oops absolutely gorgeous I love that here's the, you can see the little um, could be a gnome that lives in that little door could be a fairy you never know because I mean what was it called enchanted garden or enchanted forest so I mean gnomes live in the forest fairies live in the forest could be anything but I love this one this I might actually even take out and just keep for myself for um, my own personal journal because I really like that and then I probably would actually color it in so we have the lion, and I love this one too. When I was little, um, I don't remember what books it was or what series it might have been, and I'm thinking maybe The Borrowers or something, but I'm not 100% sure. But I envision like living in places like this, where it's like either all up in the trees or something like that, and this looks like they're all in the trees, because you can see there's a tree trunk there. There's a tree trunk here. Here's a little house suspended between the two. There's a ladder to get up there. Um, and there's another tree holding that up. And everything's just kind of connected together. And I really like this one. Like, when I look at this, for some reason, it just brings back, like, childhood memories for some reason. So I love this one. So I probably actually might even keep this one, too. Just because in my imagination when I was younger, I, like, dreamt up things like this. <laughs> And there's a hot air balloon. That's pretty cute. The two bunnies there. Here's the probably the magical castle. And that is it. And it's not that old, actually. Um, 2015. So it's not like they're vintage, but they're just really cool. And I love the color because you can see the gold on it. So there's that one. And then the last thing I got, and I've never seen something like this. And I thought, you know, if the price is right, I'll get it. The price ended up being really right. She was like, oh, because, like, see, it's been used. She was like, eh, it's paper. You can just take it. And I'm like, but there's, you know, still a good good amount left. She's like, yeah, no, just take it. So, I mean, who am I to argue? Didn't argue. I said, yes, ma'am, I'll take it. Um, so it definitely has been used. But what it is, they're student lab notebooks. Um... I've never seen anything like this, but then again, I've never, you know, needed to, I've never been in a lab, I guess. <laughs> Who knows? But it was, oops, that's somebody's personal information. 
Okay. Well, anyways, so what it looks like, it's, um, it does make copies, so, and it has, that's pretty cool, too. You would put this, see how this one, it says copy, so I'm assuming you'd put this in here, and then everything that you write on here, um, oh no, you don't put it there, you put it, duh. <laughs> under this one because you want to write on the copy so anything you write on here will automatically trans you know it will go on to this copy and then I'm assuming the copy is the students maybe and then they would pass this one in and it can go in a three ring binder and I'm just trying to see on top there's what it says I don't know if you can see that um, but it's uh, maybe experiment number, experiment, subject, date, name, lab partner, locker or desk number, course and section number. So 50 pages have been used already because this is number, oh, I don't even know if you can see, 51. But I thought, you know, I'm not going to use it for a lab, but I am definitely going to use it in um, a junk journal. And I mean, it was free so <laughs> you can't really argue with free so that was a really good good score so that is everything I got on my little thrifting lunch break today um, just four items but four items that I will definitely be able to use definitely the threads um, this will go right into journals and this is so cool these will go into journals as well minus the two that I want to take out so that is everything I have to show today um, I have to actually, I'm working on a project right now, which is, well, where is it? I bought these really cool, let me show you. I bought these really cool, um, baskets at the, it's not the Dollar Tree, but it's kind of like a Dollar Tree. Like it's, I don't know, but, but it's perfect to put all your, um, oops, there's a little sneak peek. But put all like like the ephemera and stuff that you're working on and um, you know you can put your pages in you can even put the cover in but it can all stay in like one spot so um, I got two of those one that I'm actually using and I put it away already but you know like when you're doing stuff and you have like little cutoffs of the scraps um, a lot of times they're sizes that you can actually use so and I also have some random ephemera in here as well but I feel like they're always just all over my desk. So I got it, picked up another one so I can throw them all in here. And then when I need smaller scraps, I can just grab the whole thing, bring it to my desk, and then, you know, look through and see what I need. So that's all I have to share today. Um, I am going to continue working on my journal, that the one that you just saw. Um, and... I hope to be back on soon. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.